you know, we live on two completely different continents, you know, two completely different worlds, but for some reason, so many of us can relate to each other's stories. That was amazing. Yeah. That was really amazing. And this is why I wanted you to come out into Auckland and just experience, like, the people here. Like, I, we come from South Africa, and the people in South Africa are amazing. And when I came to the States at first, I struggled to, like, find that sense of belonging. Mm. But people in Auckland, this is... Everybody's different and everybody accepts everybody for who they are and that's I love I love Oakland and I'm so happy I get to experience this with my best friend. Woohoo! Um, downtown Oakland we came here for lunch we kind of got to like talk to different people whoever was willing to talk to us yeah. and we asked for their permission if they wanted us to record yeah and you know some people know that um, some people know something about South, <laughs> South Africa some people don't but it's okay. yeah we think you guys are gonna like it and the murals are beautiful God will let y'all down like that. Thank Woo! you. And we just went to know, like what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about South Africa? The first thing that comes to your mind, anything you might know. Beautiful women. Oh yeah, beautiful women. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said. Uh -huh. I'm just saying beautiful women. What's your name? My name is Naima. 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 That's a beautiful name. Beautiful name. To me, the first thing that comes to mind, truthfully, I would say, I mean, it would be apartheid. Apartheid. Mm -hmm. But it would be Nelson Mandela. When he came to Oakland, oh, and amazing. I never experienced anything so great in my life. Yeah. And how that person can go through what he went through and still come out there and be as solid as he mm. was and still have an open heart and whatnot and, and to to rot, still rise up. So that would be the first thing. Play, right? It was amazing. It was, it was amazing. Everything about it, in terms mm -hmm. of like the feeling, and we never saw anything like that. Oh. And it was positive. You know, for us, it's like realizing that, you know, like we are literally all one people and we just we just need to connect. And I'll be so happy if you guys come. I would of love course. that. Thank you for so Thank you. Oh, I used to work at that library for years.
Like that this is it's, it's, this is how they are out there, and mm-hmm. it's like no, it's a regular town, it's a mm-hmm. regular city. You feel me? Like they have regular, and they got rural. Yeah, just yeah. Like we have. Uh huh. Just, yeah. like, just like everybody else. Okay. You so guys, no, thank you. Yeah, yeah, you guys enjoy yourself. Thank you. Here. Thank you so much. Yeah. It was nice meeting y'all. Yeah. You too. Thank you. Truly yeah. is. Okay. Yep. Yeah, Zulu. Oh, I love that. Yeah, so, so like in New York, um, in the early seventies. Uh-huh. There was a movement in New York. Um, uh, Mass Zulu. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
started teaching them like the history of Africa. Wow. Started teaching uh, just different different type of knowledge, like herbs, like how do you kill yourself and stuff like that. That's beautiful. And, and the but he incorporated way. all races. So like so when it came down to because you know it, it, it is New York City, the Bronx, and he did it. And um, he basically use this platform like you said they're like use, you're using your platform he used hip hop as his platform mm -hmm. he was one of the first DJs that, that ever was to play hip hop music ever wow. and also a gang leader but also yeah, he got a record deal and he made you know huge like at this time like dance music back then what was his name? Africa Bambara Africa mm -hmm. Bambara yeah I'll look that up thank like you that. thank you for sharing you. this so has been a learning experience You're so beautiful <laughs> What do you think when you hear South Africa? <laughs> First thing that comes to your mind? Culture. Culture. Yeah. yeah. Thank well, you. Well, because that that's one of the things that we also learned. Because, like, the cradle of humanity is not. Yeah. Everyone has the genealogy that leads back to Africa. Yeah. Like, their DNA to some genealogy history. Yeah. Like, you know, she has a certain amount of percent of it. I didn't do it, but she has, you know, through the ancestry.com. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. She has a certain amount of African blood. But plus, you know, she has like. That's why she looks Hi, so sister. Good. <laughs>